River West has always been a place where you have these currents mingling, and that goes back to the very start of European immigration way back in the 1800s. Today, there's a really active art scene, uh, there's a very active political scene, there's a very active club scene. Uh, there's probably more tattoos per square inch of skin in River West than there is any place else in the state of Wisconsin. I think of Bayview is that in many ways it's sort of the east side of the south side. Even though it's become more metropolitan, I describe Bayview very simply as a part of the city apart from the city. Harambe is a Swahili word for pulling together. More than most other sections of Milwaukee's north side, the history uh, of Milwaukee's black community is there. The ride of 67 took place there, but you also had you know, Father Grappi uh, was active there. There's energy there that people from the outside would be surprised by, but that's, uh, it's important you know, to underline that. The east side is an urban space. It's also a more urbane space. It's not a place that is identified as any one particular group. It kind of belongs to everybody. The real contrast on Milwaukee's east side is between the river and the lake. This intensely urban stretch of Milwaukee that we call the east side is flanked on two sides by some of the finest green space in the region. River on one side, lake on the other. You know when you're in Pigsville, <laughs> and you know when you're not. <laughs> you leave and you are somewhat, someplace else completely. Life is what you make it, and you make it what you will. If you're happy in the valley, don't try to climb the hill. So, <laughs> so, and I think that's still, that's still kind of an operative virtue you know, in, in Pigsville. There are 11 streets down there, seven end and dead ends. So it's the kind of neighborhood where you don't go there unless you live there or you're lost. So <laughs> really interesting section of town. a really strong thread of continuity on the historic south side, past and present, is that it has always been a neighborhood of newcomers. It has kind of the vitality of a border town uh, where you have these currents mixing. In around 1910, 70% of the historic south side's population was Polish. In 2010, a century later, about 70% was Latino. The language is different, but the values aren't that different. As one parish priest told me, we marry in Spanish and we bury in Polish. So that kind of is the shorthand for what's going on there in the last generation. The shorthand history of North Milwaukee is X marks the spot. Why it exists is there was two major rail lines, one going to Green Bay, one to Minneapolis-St. Paul. Developers uh, begin to say, we can build an industrial suburb here. North Milwaukee has deindustrialized, uh, like so much of the Milwaukee area, so much of America. Uh, so the jobs are not there in the abundance that they once were. I think the feeling in the neighborhood is kind of cautious optimism. It's kind of an imbalance between some of the economic struggles that a lot of our older neighborhoods face and hope for the future as well.